Hi, I'm Courtney, and together with my husband Steve, we are a streaming life. We travel full-time around the country in our 30-foot Airstream travel trailer. Today, I'm going to talk about how to choose a tow vehicle. For more how-to videos, check up the card above. We've done how-tos on everything from how to find camping to how to prevent mice from getting in your RV. So how to choose a tow vehicle. I'm going to assume that you know what you're going to be towing. Um, so you know how heavy your trailer is or whatever else you are towing. Um, and that helps in choosing the correct tow vehicle for you. The reason why this is important is in order to choose the right tow vehicle, you need to know what weight you'll be towing behind you or the GVWR, gross vehicle weight ratio of your trailer. The gross vehicle weight ratio is what your trailer is rated, the heaviest your trailer is rated to be. So fully loaded with everything, this is what the frame is rated to be able to handle. So for instance, our 30 foot Airstream's GVWR is 10,000 pounds. So max that we should have inside the Airstream, the Airstream should weigh 10,000 pounds, max. Therefore, our truck needs a towing capacity of at least 10,000 pounds. You also need to get into a little bit, especially if you're looking at a fifth wheel, your truck's GAWR, which is the gross axle weight ratio, especially for the rear axle of the truck, because with a fifth wheel and even a travel trailer with the tongue, you're going to be putting more weight on the rear axle of your truck or van or whatever tow vehicle you have um, than your front one. And you need to make sure that whatever you are towing doesn't put too much weight on that rear axle and cause blowouts, things like that. Um, so knowing all those numbers for your trailer or fifth wheel is very important when trying to set a baseline of what vehicle you can then tow with. We're not going to go into all the details of those numbers. That will be a future video in in about how to weigh your vehicle and your trailer and figure all that out. Now, given that you know kind of like how small of a vehicle or how big a vehicle you need to have, because of your gross vehicle uh, weight ratios. That will kind of help you decide, can you have a car? Can you have a truck? Can you have a van? Um, if you have a really small trailer, a car might work for you. If you want to have good um, gas mileage and you have a really small trailer, perhaps a car is your best option because you have better gas mileage when you're not towing. However, if you have a bigger vehicle and you're trying to decide between a truck or a van, some things to consider are inside storage. Vans have a lot more storage. Um, you can also often have more people in it. You can set up vans for um, off-grid camping just in the van. You can do things like have um, mini toilets in the vans. There's lots of reason why people choose vans over trucks. Um, trucks have advantages in that they have the bed. Um, you can put caps on the, vet, the bed and provide even more storage. You can put stuff on top of the trucks. There's all sorts of reasons to choose between a van and a truck. Um, but knowing your baseline of how much you have to be able to tow will help you decide whether a van is even an option. Other things to consider when thinking about a tow vehicle. Dualies. We don't have a dually, um, mostly because if at all possible, we didn't want one because of size, you have more tires to deal with, everything like that. However, if you are pulling a fifth wheel, you may need a dually because of your gross axle um, weight ratio. Um, it, it gives you a more of a towing capacity or you can put more weight on that rear axle of your truck when you have a dually. And so whether or not you need a dually or want a dually is something to consider when you're researching tow vehicles. So diesel or not, we're big diesel fans. The reason why we're big diesel fans um, is towing capacity. We tend to be able to tow more with a diesel than a gas, gas burner, gas truck. Um, now there are newer trucks with EcoBoost engines, which we don't know a lot about, but we know people love them and compare them to diesel trucks. And so an EcoBoost might be good if you wanna stick with a gas truck. 
Other reasons we like diesel is they tend to have an easier time going up hills and mountains. And since we like to travel in very mountainous areas, um, a diesel was very important to us. If you don't plan on towing very heavy things in really hilly spots, perhaps a, a gas truck, a normal gas truck, is perfectly fine for you. Another advantage for us of a diesel engine is that you can run them for large periods of time, hundreds of thousands of miles, as long as you take care of them. Um, and the life of the truck and the engine is much longer in general than a gas gasser. So diesel or gas, up to you, but something to research. Another thing, important to us, but not to everybody, four-wheel drive. We find four-wheel drive imperative in the way we camp because we boondock a lot and we've had a number of instances where it was necessary for us to get our Airstream into, into or out of a spot or just get us into and out of a beach or something like that. So a four-wheel drive truck was mandatory for us. Again, if you plan on doing mostly campground camping and you don't think you'll really ever be off-road, perhaps four-wheel drive is not something important to you and not something to take the time to look for or ensure is in your vehicle. A lot of vans do not have four-wheel drive, so if the option of having a van and that storage is more important than being able to go off-road, then perhaps you prioritize the van over the four-wheel drive. The last thing to think about is if you're in a, especially if you're looking for a truck, is your back seat. Do you need a back seat? Do you want a back seat? Um, for us, we keep our dogs in the back seat. Well, we put the seats up and they're in the back seat area when we're traveling. And so we needed to have at least a normal size back seat. We thought about an extended cab or, or um, something like that. But in general, that just makes the truck longer, a little bit more harder to maneuver and it wasn't enough extra space to make it worth it for us. But an extended cab might be worth it for you. If you don't need the, the back seat, perhaps having a smaller truck is better for you. So another thing to consider when trying to pick your tow vehicle. Now we have a 2500 series truck because of the size of our Airstream. That is a very popular choice um, for trailers our size. If you have a smaller trailer, perhaps the 1500 or 150 series would be a better option for you. Now, for people who are doing fifth wheels, the most popular trucks we're seeing are the 3500 series or 350 series because they have higher payload capacities and therefore can handle the bigger, heavier fifth wheels. Um, so again, that's another thing to consider when knowing the size of the trailer you're going to be towing or the fifth wheels you're going to be towing will impact what series of truck, if you're doing a truck, you are going to be looking at. So last thought, you really don't want to be the person going up an 8% grade in Colorado and just managing to do 10 miles per hour in the right lane. If you, you need enough truck to pull your trailer in whatever scenario you plan on going into. So you do not want to underbuy when it comes to your tow vehicle because it becomes dangerous for you, it becomes dangerous for everyone around you um, if you underbuy. Same idea, you don't necessarily want to overbuy. It's not necessarily dangerous, but you will be spending more money and you will be having a rougher ride in general since the bigger the truck, the one ton truck versus a three quarter ton truck, the ride is not quite as smooth. Um, but if you need that one ton truck in order to pull your fifth wheel, it is absolutely worth it to get it because then you are safe and in all your towing applications. So really think about what you're going to be towing and where you're going to be towing it and make sure you buy enough truck, van, whatever, tow vehicle for your application. So that's it for this week. Stay tuned next week for another how-to video. Thanks guys.